My daughter is helping me to cut the bell peppers. We are going to use the paprika. So she's helping me to cut the bell peppers while I'm preparing other things. And meanwhile, she is 10 years. She always helps me in the kitchen. So that is one thing that is good to have girl child in the family. Hi guys, it's your girl Neki from the Neck family. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing good. I believe you and your family, you people are safe healthy and fit because this time that is all we care about to know that our friends and family members are doing good because that is the much we can do this time to keep fit to stay safe and to stay healthy because if you help yourself god will help you so try as much as you can to stay fit to stay healthy and to stay safe in today's video is a cooking video and I have come to share with you this sauce or this food or this cook or this food. No, it's a sauce. The sauce that I almost cook every week in my house. This is always in my fridge. The children like this sauce. They use it to eat different kind of things. So and my husband also likes it and I myself I also like it because I'm the one that introduced this sauce to them so I'm going to share with you this sauce you will use the sauce to eat different kind of things you use it to eat rice, to eat spaghetti, to eat noodle, to eat anything you want to eat with it you can even use it to eat yam anything you want to eat with it with potatoes so if you are new to this channel and you have not yet subscribed I don't know what you're waiting for I don't know what you're waiting for to join the family. Please click on the red subscribe button and join us and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos. And if you find this video helpful or interesting or if it helps you in any way, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please help me to share this video with your friends and families. Share it on your social platforms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for doing that. And Let's jump right into making this sauce. Mm -hmm. Sauce. And to make this sauce, we are going to be needing a frying pan or a pot. So this is what I'm going to use. And the base of this, our cooking today is grinded meat. Today I'm using chicken. I normally use chicken anyway. So I'm using two packs of grinded chicken. Or some days I will add one pack of chicken and one pack of beef and onions this is the onions i'm going to use this is two onions and i'm, and I'm going to be needing some paste tomatoes and this is actually the second thing that is important in this cooking because the name of this cooking the name of this sauce is called see the name there chili con can but you can still make this sauce if you don't have this but it but it moves the sauce to the next level and i'm going to be needing this is my pepper paprika the mixed paprika that my daughter helps me to cut and i'm going to be using kidney beans this is two things of kidney beans i'm going to be using olive oil the strategic olive oil and what i forgot salt and your salt to taste and i'm going to be using just one maggi cube but inside this is double anyway it's not one because and i know in nigeria we have this separated but here we have it like this so it is two inside so i stand by on in my stove and my oil So while I will be cooking this, I will be making my noodles. This is what we are going to use to eat it. So I put my water to boil for the noodles. Then I'm going to add the chicken. Behind the chicken there is always a pepper. So don't forget to remove it. I 
add the second one. I forgot to tell you, I also add this, this is the grinded paprika, that is the grinded pepper. This is the dry one, I add this to add color and also use thyme. I also use thyme when I'm cooking, so I'm going to add thyme now, just, just like uh, a teaspoon of thyme and like one tablespoon of dried paprika this is i'm using this small one so i'm using one tablespoon you can i use this uh, teaspoon so double of this is tablespoon So I'll put in like a tablespoon of fresh tomatoes or thin tomatoes because in, in Nigeria we call it thin tomatoes so I'm going to put like a tablespoon So with this, we're going to allow it to cook and be turning it like every every one, one minute you come and turn it so that it doesn't stick on the pot. The cube. So then I'm going to add my maggi cube. See how big it is? In Nigeria it's like this. So here that is how it is here. I'm using only one because this thing has salt or maggi inside it already, so I don't use much of that. Then I'm going to add my salt, not too much, like this. Then you allow it to cook while you are turning it for like five minutes before you add any other meat. So when you see that the meat is dry, test it and know that and be sure that the meat is done before you add another thing. Yeah, it's done. So now I'm going to add my paprika. So the next thing I will add is my kidney beans. So I'm going to add the chili con carne. Grinded curry. I think that will be enough. Let me just add a little bit more one. The quantity of this depends on the quantity of the sauce you're making, I mean the meat.
Then I'm going to add some water. So you're going to lower your stove, cover it and allow it to simmer for five minutes and the sauce is done, ready to be used. So on this particular time, you test it and make sure that everything there is salt, there is pepper, everything is okay. Then the food is ready for you to serve to your family members, to your visitors, everyone that needs to eat this food. But believe me, this tastes amazing. Tastes delicious and, and it is very, very healthy. So I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to go serve my family members and also enjoy this food. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please click on the red subscribe button and join this family. And please, if you find this recipe, this sauce, this food interesting or helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and help me to share with your friends and families. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye bye for now.